Greetings viewers on YouTube at Cosplay.com and wherever else I may show this. Uh, I'm going to show off my Ghostbuster costume. Well, most of it anyway. I don't know where the proton pack is in the basement. I'll probably do something about that tomorrow if I dig it up. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you my Ghostbusters costume from uh, the Village Halloween Parade. And show it off before I refurbish the whole thing because, as you might be able to see, um, some like the details on it have gone to crap. Alright, I guess we'll start off with the ghost trap that we made first. Uh, this is just an old box we made from, uh, I think it was an old screw box. We just wrapped it up in black duct tape. Use some clear tape so we can stick down details like the little foil here and like the uh, black and yellow lines here and danger labels. But since when we went to the parade, it was rain, and like most of this got damaged, like you can't really read this anymore. This is not really black or yellow anymore. Uh, the whole idea was with this thing, we were going to have an actual kick pedal, like a drum kick pedal, but uh, we ran out of time for that, and also we didn't have money for it. So we just went and got a piece of cardboard, wrapped it up like this. A bit ghetto, but oh, we didn't really play with that. And here's the tube and they, they just wear on their legs. This one was mine, I know that, because I wore mine longer than my brother's. And it's just for a little tube and I guess you can get like a fish store or something like that, because like, I think it's the tube they use for like fish tanks, like the filter systems, or like an air hose for those nebulizers, or whatever you call those breathing things you have in your nose. Mm, this should be fairly cheap. My brother got that from where he works, so. Oh. <sighs> This is the PKE meter. We use th this was uh, old flat iron that we just cut off the cord for them and used the rest of the cord for the ghost trap. Uh, and pretty much like the movie, we just use a flat iron. We just uh, wrapped it up with duct tape, stuck in some uh, plastic ties for the antennas, which is apparently always detecting the ghost. Uh, we taped on like re the ghost readings or whatever, but as you can see, it's and not so good anymore, it was more detailed than we would have done lights, but we just don't have that scale and we also ran out of time to do that. And also, bonus here is that it has little switches and such, you can switch it on and off, but it's not going to do anything because the cord's broken, we have no batteries for it. And we can turn it up to 11 and beyond for this thing, guess you can't really see that right now, but, oh, that's the PKE meter. Uh, here are the power goggles, or ecto goggles, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's just a pair of old welding goggles that we just glued some crap on. Well, mine did anyway, but other didn't glue anything on his because he wanted to use them for work or something. This piece right here, I don't know what it is, but we just got it at Home Depot for like a dime or something like that. The other piece here, as you can see, broke off once I think it broke off when my mother decided to look at it. And uh, the other part we just used an old film canister. We just cut the bottom off it and glued it on. Uh, I don't think we used super glue for this. I think we used like some kind of plumber's glue or something like that, which caused the paint on this to get stripped off. So I just colored it over with it. A permanent marker, I think. So I think it did pretty good. You can't really see through it, but that's the point of welding goggles. But you can move the little lens part up so you can look out of them. And a lot of people like what I did with that. My brother was actually got jealous because like eh, it looks better than mine. But oh well. And the main part, I guess, the Ghostbuster costume, not counting the proton pack, is the jumpsuit. I got this from the Salvation Army for like eight bucks or something like that. And the only doubt I guess for it is it has short sleeves, but it's since it's really big on me, the sleeves go down to about my elbows or so. Uh, here's my custom name patch I got. I don't remember where I got it. I think I got it off eBay or something like that. And on this side, we got the no ghost patch. I figured out where to put it. My I put it on, had one of my brothers hold it up, and I just pinned it down with baby safety pins or something like that. And then afterwards, I took it off and sewed the whole thing on. First, I did was I did the red part first, and then for the black parts, the original idea of like for the ghost hand sticking out in the ghost head, my original idea was I was just not going to sew it on, it was going to be too much trouble. But it turns out, like, it was so loose and everything, I had to, so I did that part second, so I'd hold it down, but this side I don't think I did, really, because, you know, I got, like, two fingers sticking out a little bit. Turned out really nice, I think. Um, here's the belt I put around it. It's some kind of pistol belt, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but my brother kept bitching and moaning at me for it, but he didn't get it because he can't fit in it. Haha. -ha. And see here, the boots, originally, 
I wore these monsters. My mother calls them the Frankenstein boots because they're like, I think, two sizes bigger than my feet or something like that. And these are just so uncomfortable walking. Even if I, that, well, I wore like two pairs of socks and put insoles in here, and it's still so incredibly, incredibly loose. But it's nice though because it goes up fairly high on the leg. Let's see if I can get a shot here. See, it goes up to about mid calf, mid leg, whatever you want to call it or so, if I was to have it on. They're still uncomfortable walking. I had, I think I had blisters on my feet for a week because of these stupid things. And should I ever do Ghostbusters, wear a Ghostbusters costume again, I will probably just wear these army boots I commandeered from my brother, which he doesn't know that yet. Tee hee. And yeah, they're small and everything, but they actually fit my feet. And they don't go up nearly as high as the other boots. They only go up a bit above the ankle or so. But hey, they'll work. Alright, that's it for now, I guess, for the Ghostbuster costume. I might do another video if I, like, update, like, put on all the shit, which I probably should do, because I just got ink for my printer. And I'll probably do the Proton Pack tomorrow, maybe. That's it.